You know, San Diego's role in the civil rights movement may not be widely known, but there is a community college theater in Mountain View that's hoping to change that. They've hosted legends in the fight for civil rights like Coretta Scott King, and they want to make plans to turn that legacy into a museum for the future. CBS 8's Heather Hope has their plan. We're inside the Educational Cultural Complex Theater, and if this stage could talk, oh, the stories it would tell. And the most important story is this theater's role in San Diego's cultural history. Nestled in Mountain View on Ocean View Boulevard, the San Diego Community College District's College of Continuing Education was once a hub for civil rights activism in the 1970s. I didn't know. Uh, to the extent of the history of this institution. I grew up two blocks down the road. I definitely upgrade the technology in the theater as well. Andre Lucas, Dean of Career Tech at the Educational um, Cultural Complex, to to can't wait for major innovations sort of to take thing. place at the we'll college's theater, which hosted black legends in the civil rights movement. There should be a holiday for a black American. Fred Scott King, they held a, a convention here uh, where she spoke to the community. We've also had um, individuals such as Jesse Jackson, Muhammad Ali grace these halls, and that's something that we want to preserve. Preservation will start with much needed upgrades so, so, to the theater. Um, we definitely want to make this uh, more ADA compliant. A $35 million state grant will add new seating, lights, and new technology to best host San Diego events. There just isn't a venue um, south of the eight to, ho to host some of the events and, and th that you would see above. Um, the 8 freeway. Just being inside the historical building. This place brings uh, a lot of wonderful memories. Actress and historian Elise Smith Cooper performed on the ECC stage alongside Whoopi Goldberg and James Avery in 1976. She lives down the street from the theater and is now writing a book about the history of the educational cultural complex. And the educational cultural complex was the mind child of the African American people in this community. Uh, Stevie Wonder came. Uh, he played in this very orchestra pit. As the ECC theater soon will be under construction, directly in a space in front of it. So this is going to be the future side of our community room here at the Educational Cultural Complex. The community room in the current arts and crafts classroom will be home to San Diego's first civil rights museum. First to encapsulate the past and build on that for the future. We decided to make it the living leaders. So Poet Leia Goodwin has already designed a civil rights exhibit in the halls of the ECC. Most of these people inspired me, lifted me up, pushed me forward, told me their stories. This idea with the gallery and the exhibit here would be that we actually have the civil rights story with the lens of ECC. Making the Civil Rights Museum a reality will take time and money. The interim president says the museum price tag is $10 million. We anticipate that will allow us to really uh, build out the space, make it a very attractive space, uh, give us the flexibility to have both displays and meeting rooms. Creating a museum to celebrate and chronicle San Diego's activism alongside a historic theater is a dream come true for Elise Smith Cooper. I'm stuttering saying it because it kind of brings hot water to my eyes. I mean, who would have thought? And the construction timeline is fluid, but the theater renovation is expected to be completed by year 2024 and the Civil Rights Museum by year 2025. Heather Hope, CBS 8.